Hey everyone, I hope your back to school season is going well. Now that you've hopefully settled into the, the school rhythm for the year, uh, it's time to get back to Faith Formation. So this weekend, Faith Formation at Home uh, is going to kick off in your inbox. You'll start getting those weekly emails on Saturday mornings. Um, and this program, again, is designed to be flexible so you can change it and mold it to the needs of your family. So I'm going to lay out for you here what the program looks like. It looks very similar to what it's looked like in the past, uh, but just with that caveat that just because we say that this resource is for preschoolers and kindergartners doesn't mean you can't use it for your first grader. Uh, just because we say this thing is designed for grades one through five doesn't mean your sixth grader can't do that. You figure out what works in your home. Right? Uh, if you've got kids in multiple, multiple phases and you want to do three different resources, you can do that. Uh, if you want younger ones to just cover some more advanced material, that's fine. If you need your older ones uh, to do some stuff that's a little bit maybe below their ability, just to keep the family on the same page, that is totally fine too. Right, this is designed to be to give you enough freedom and flexibility to make it work for your household without giving you hopefully too many options so it doesn't confuse everybody. All right, so Faith Formation at Home, what does this look like every week? You're going to start off, you're basically doing two things, right? You're reading the Sunday Gospel and having some family discussion about that. So reading the Sunday Gospel, reading some sort of uh, family reflection on that, and we'll provide videos for you as well to give you some commentary on that and just talk about what you find interesting, what was confusing, um, what have you heard before, right? Any, anything like that is fair game. Just kind of talk about it a little bit. It doesn't have to be super long, but it can be. Um, but just try to kind of engage every member of the household to figure out, you know, what did you think when you heard this? Uh, and then the second piece is, um, if you're little, little, little ones, uh, you're going to be reading a Bible storybook. Uh, and for everyone else, you're going to be reading a handful of catechism questions, and we'll talk about the different resources for those. So the Sunday Gospel, you got a couple of options. Um, you can pick up this resource here at the churches, uh, Celebrating Sunday for Catholic Families. They're going to give you a version of the Gospel, a short reflection, some questions that you guys could discuss as a family, uh, and then some practical way you can live it out. You don't have to do that, but you're welcome to do that. Um, sometimes the, the version of the Gospel in here is a shortened form, and I'll usually point out in the video if the, the full Gospel includes something more important that's not in here, I'll mention, hey, this week you might want to read the whole thing. Uh, but every week those emails are going to include what is the full gospel citation, uh, where can you find it. So you can just read it in your Bible at home if you'd like, or you can pick up one of these and they'll give you some extra, extra resources in there as well. Uh, and then for our little ones, we're going to give you a story in the Jesus Storybook Bible, so for preschoolers and kindergartners. Uh, and again, each weekly, video will include, or each weekly email will include a video with some commentary on the story that you're reading in here. Um, if your older ones like Bible storybooks, they're fun reading. Um, you can still you can uh, go along through that as well. For grades one through five, we've still got the UCAT for kids, and grades six through eight, we've got the Fuller UCAT. Um, these are both great resources, uh, but if you've been through the program before, you've you've probably utilized them both. This one is is really ideal for like younger elementary, and this one is really designed for like high school. So there's kind of a gap in the middle. So what we've done uh, over the course of this summer is uh, basically wrote our own catechism, the Saint John Bosco Family Catechism. So if you've been through Faith Formation at Home before, uh, I'm going to encourage you to utilize this material because um, it'll dig a little bit deeper than what the UCAT for Kids does and it, it doesn't have the, the wordy answers of the UCAT. These are going to be included in every email as an attachment, so you'll have a PDF. You don't necessarily have to pick up a physical book. Although if you're like me and you prefer physical media to digital media or you don't want to print it at home, uh, shoot me an email let me know. We can print a few more copies of this for you as well. Um, so if you've done the program before, we've got a different resource you can utilize this year. Um, so that's a little bit of a different program, because if you went through the UCAT for Kids three times already, you really don't need to do that again. Uh, you're welcome to, but you might find something a little more fulfilling um, with shorter answers to more questions related to those topics. You'll dig a little bit deeper into it that way. Uh, so then at the end, what else is in the, these emails that you're getting every week? There's going to be a series of optional stuff. There's going to be a bunch of worksheets on the gospel for various ages that you could print out at home if you want to that have word searches and... Uh, all that kind of fun stuff, word puzzles. Uh, there'll be a coloring sheet there if you have kids who like to color. If your kids don't like to color, don't worry about it. Uh, I found that sometimes just the coloring sheet, give it to a wide range of kids while you're reading the gospel or while you're reading the catechism questions, kind of keeps everybody calm, uh, but you don't have to color every week. <laughs> Uh, some weeks there will be uh, extra uh, downloadable, printable resources that we utilize in faith formation classes with kids, manipulatives, you know, you can cut out the name of the sacrament, the description of the sacrament, and a picture of the sacrament and put those in order. Um, all that is you can use if you want to, you don't have to use it. The one thing that we do want you to do though at the very bottom of the email is going to be a little button that says learning check-in. Uh, if you click on that it will take you over to a Google form. Uh, with a couple of quick questions. One pretty general question about the gospel reading, a pretty general question about um, 
the, the storybook Bible story, a pretty general question about the catechism content for those two different age groups. You only answer the questions that are relevant to your household. You only do that once for the entire household. You don't have to fill it out for each kid. Uh, you hit submit on that, and that's how we know you're, you're doing the stuff. You're kind of keeping up with the program. Uh, you're not getting lost. All right, if we get several weeks into the year and I've noticed you haven't submitted anything, that's when I'm going to reach out and see, hey, is everything going okay? Do you need help? Um, and it might just be that you forgot about it, and that's fine. Uh, or it might be that you're swamped with other stuff and you, you need some help, uh, and that'll be okay. That'll be a time for us to kind of help you, help you get through it. So that's what the program looks like. In the bottom of this email, there's going to be a PDF document that will outline the whole year for you. If you're someone that likes to look ahead and see, you know, what are the readings for that week in October when we're planning on taking a weekend trip to whatever, uh, you can look ahead in there. Uh, that email is also going to include another supplemental curriculum if you only have middle schoolers at home and you're doing faith formation at home. You're still welcome to utilize these, these catechism resources that I just outlined. There is another option for you that is middle school formation at home utilizing uh, some wide disciple resources on forum.org and some other places. Um, so if you've gone through, again, Faith Formation at Home for a couple of years now uh, and you're looking for something else for your, and you only have middle schoolers going through it, um, that'd be a curriculum worth checking out. Uh, the only problem is with that one, we're not going to send weekly email. You'll still get the weekly emails from us with the other materials in it, but you won't get weekly emails specific to that curriculum. Um, so you're kind of a little more on your own with that one, uh, and you can just kind of check in at the end of the year and say, hey, we finished the middle school curriculum. Uh, so it's a lot of different options. If you feel like you're confused, you feel like you're lost, you feel like you don't really know what you're supposed to do, please reach out. Uh, we'll help you through the whole thing. Uh, if you're a veteran of this, you know what's going on. Hit the ground running starting this weekend. Uh, and look forward to walking through you virtually and uh, in person over the phone, via email, wherever we might cross paths over the course of this year. Thanks a lot and God bless.